and Keyshawn, before we get started, I'm just going to give you give you the floor quickly. We'll get into the Q&A in a minute, but you're center stage there. You're sitting next to the mayor. We're here in Norfolk. What does it mean to you to be here bringing this fight card to the city? Man, it's, a, it's an honor, man. It's, appreciate everybody coming here, man. Uh, all glory to God, first of all. But it's an honor, man, top rank being here, putting on this show for us, for the town, for us, for the 757. Um, it's going to be a, a, a Michael Jordan story. No good Or an AI story, maybe an Allen Iverson, right? <laughs> Revan Norfolk. Now, speaking of Revan Norfolk, before we get to the Q&A portion, uh, we have a special guest joining us, and I'm going to give the mic to Carl Ready for this special introduction, little surprise for you guys. Thanks, Christina. So, way back, when Purnell was in his prime, and I just want to acknowledge his nephew, Juan, and um, Dominique for coming out, and his son, you guys, uh, always be in our hearts. And everything. Um, you know, Pete went to Booker T. Washington High School, and he went all through grade school and high school with another guy, and I'll call him a guy just for now. But you'll see nowadays when these guys are tweeting, and especially Keyshawn, he's always got a hashtag that says chasing greatness. Well, before Twitter was around and social media, which when the world was normal, <laughs> this guy chased greatness, he caught it, and he devoured it. And from Booker T. Washington, to Virginia Tech, to the Buffalo Bills, the three greatest defenders, defensive players in the NFL, arguably, are Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White, and this guy, Hall of Famer, let me bring him out, from Norfolk, Virginia, who's represented it his whole life, Bruce Smith. Give it up for Bruce Smith. Bruce looks like you can line up right now. <laughs> I literally said the same thing to him, Carl, when we were backstage. Um, you can come, you can come here if you'd like. Good afternoon, man. This, this, <laughs> this, this is exciting, man. I, congratulations to the brothers, the Davis brothers. Um, uh, you know, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, as uh, Carl mentioned, uh, Ernell and I were like brothers. Uh, Booker T. Washington High School. We supported each other uh, back and forth coming up when we uh, had our young professional careers. I would travel around all over the country uh, to this fight. He would come to my games uh, for support. Uh, Lou Duba would make sure I was there uh, when there were big fights uh, uh, getting ready to take place because he knew how important our relationship was. And now, to have these young men representing the city of Norfolk and uh, putting us back on the map in terms of the sport of boxing, uh, I just think it's outstanding. Hey, Sean, I mean, when you talk about chasing greatness, we have an all-time NFL sack leader right here. You have the mayor to your left coming yeah. to your city, yeah, we're, hey, yeah. representing you, and you, you right up there in line with these guys, and he's telling you you're up next. What does that What does that feel like? It means a lot, man. Um, coming up as a kid, we used to hear about guys like him, you know, uh, Mike Vick, him, uh, AI, uh, Pharrell, Pusher, like a lot of them guys. And, now that it's a new generation, we feel in their shoes for once school day was at. Um, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? It was God's plan and we here living it out. And he, like you, has that killer instinct. Obviously, he can't sack any of his opponents like you did to so many quarterbacks in the NFL. But I think you guys share that commonality, that killer instinct that when you see you got a, an opening or a guy here, you go in there and take it. Would you say that that's a, a, an accurate assessment? It, it, it's 100% it's accurate. Either you have it or you don't. Uh, you can you can find a way to, to, to kind of encourage it out of a person, but this young man's got it. He, he is, you know, there's a, a saying in sports called it. He's got it. Well, you certainly still got yeah. it. Yeah. I, I got to get a pair of those shoes. If you know about the Air Veers, you know about the shoes back in the day. I mean, those were like the hottest, hottest thing for all the young football players. Maybe we get you to walk out with a pair of those. <laughs> get them signed. He'll, He'll find it. Why not? He can find it, whatever. Bruce, thank you so very much for being here and for joining us. It's truly an honor, and I hope we see you fight week here in Norfolk as well. Oh, I'm going to be here. You're 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 going to be here. you are going to be here 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 you are going to be
uh, amazing, amazing. Now we'll get started with the Q&A portion of our uh, press conference, and we'll have you guys a little bit later than expected. I really appreciate it. Uh, Troy, for you, I was talking to Keyshawn before. You're right. <laughs> I said if there was a DB4 or an honorary member of DB3, it would probably be you. Your relationship to these guys is something special going back 10 plus years, um, amateur days, Olympics. Just talk about how much it means to you to be on this card sitting up here with these guys who you also consider brothers. It means a lot. Uh, everything, you know, everything we're doing now, we, we talked about, you know, growing up as kids. So, you know, that is coming to fruition. Uh, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, these are my brothers right here. You know, we, we, we've been with each other every step of the way. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to, to be fighting on a, on a car with them. Yeah, and you're gonna be bringing a crowd of your own too. I mean, you're you're from not too far away from here, Alexandria. You were up in DC, um, this whole area. So I expect a bunch yeah. of Transformer fans in the audience as well. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be I, I got some, I got some, uh, some, some Norfolk family too. So right. no, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be lit for sure. Well, ticket prices. So Tell them, but, you know, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that momentarily. And look, for you two, a big year for you, 2024. You've had some signature wins. If you, I mean, against Taylor Howard, another tough competitor, yeah. uh, you kind of crossed over that contender status. I mean, you get past Tyler. I mean, you got to be up there for, yeah. you know, some of the best fights this year with, with what but, you've been able to do. Be, you know, being, uh, being around them, you know, because, uh, you know, coming to the pros, I kind of lost my confidence so to say so you know being around these three people you know what i'm saying them telling me you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm good enough you know what i'm saying i don't have to uh, i shouldn't doubt myself so you know being around these three people the last three camps you know have helped so much and you know what i'm saying and y'all wouldn't even know well we've seen your confidence grow and that's reflected into your performances that we've seen in the ring as of late uh, we'll hear more from you of course from fight week but before i let you go Today's Troy's birthday, everybody. <laughs> so, let's wish happy birthday to Troy. He's working on his birthday like a true professional. We appreciate you being here. I'm sure your brothers appreciate you being up here with them. And we're really looking forward to November 8th. Yes, me too, me too. It's gonna be a show. Y'all definitely want to tune in. All of us gonna put on the show and you don't wanna miss out. All right, thank you so much, Troy. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. I would let you sing, but you know, we're a little bit pressed for time. So, <laughs> uh, Keon, how you doing? This is the first for you up here now, isn't it? You're getting ready to make your pro debut on a card alongside your brothers. All the way to death. Absolutely. Uh, a big smile from you. You know, has it hit you yet that this has finally happened? And this is the moment I'm sure you've been waiting for, watching your brothers in the professional ranks, and now it's your turn. Uh, yeah, it's a great. Great opportunity, you know, to be here. Uh, first, I want to thank God, uh, thank Top Rank, you know, thank ESPN. But you know, um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great night. You know, um, I'm making my pro debut. I'm, I'm coming for the stoppage. I'm coming to knock somebody out. <laughs> I mean, I'll kind of flow back and forth between the three of you, you know, as the elder statesman of the crew, uh, Keon, to have your little brother, or Kelvin, excuse me, to have your little brother Keon to your right and Keyshawn to your left. I mean, this has to be something special when you guys used to sit around the dinner table and talk about moments like this, and now you're all going to be performing at the skull. You got, you know, Mayor Alexander <laughs> sitting here to your left. I mean, is this, is this truly something that you guys have dreamed about since you were young? Uh, it's truly a blessing. Uh, we definitely talked about this when we were kids. Um, dreamed about it, and this is it's finally here. It's, it's, it's kind of didn't hit me yet, for real, for real. It's like we were, <laughs> we're really bringing it, we're really bringing it to Norfolk 757. It hasn't been done since Sweet Peep and Earl Whitaker, and, we, and then we just try to lead off of what he has set for us. We got his family out here supporting, and the legacy gonna live on through us. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna take over and just, just try to keep bringing everything to the 757 in Norfolk School. Yeah. I wanted, is this it? Is there, is there a fourth or it's just three? Because I wanted to introduce our co-promoter, um, who's really the patriarch of DB3, who's enjoying herself a well-deserved cruise, and that's Wanda Davis. You know, her and her mom. And anytime we have, you know, a small problem or a question or something like that, you know, her advisor is, she'll say that. He goes, I, don't worry about it, I'll just tell Wanda. And Wanda squashes it, we got no issues after that. So that's how we're gonna roll, but uh, you know, all good with that. And 
and Kelvin, you spoke on it for just a minute, but you have some early on memories of fighting in this area and of Cornell Sweepy Whitaker Amateur Tournament. We were talking about that story earlier on, um, that, that connection there. Right. Um, growing up, we had the amateur tournaments right at Fairline, not too far from here. Uh, Sweet Pea used to come to our fights and watch us and just, just, just see the amateur talent. And he used to give us little few pointers after our fights and just tell us little things to get better. So that, that was a blessing. And we got a legend coming to watch us fight as an amateur and telling us just little things to do in the ring. Me as a kid, I wasn't understanding how impactful or who he really was. I just know he was a famous boxer, you know what I'm saying? But now today, looking back on that, it was just like, this, that was huge for us. And Keyshawn, if I can bring you in now, for you, your first main event, and you heard your brother Kelvin just now talking about how maybe he didn't understand the scope of um, Sweet Pea Pernell Whitaker's, you know, legacy at that time. There's going to be young kids watching you right now that maybe don't even grasp or understand, you know, not only the greatness that you possess, but what your impact could be um, on this city. And Mayor Alexander spoke to that you know, briefly earlier, but have you really came to think about what this moment not only could be for you, your city and, and you, but for the youth and everyone coming in and watching you too? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, this event right here is bigger than us, bigger than all of us on the state. Um, this event, I will want to reach out as much people that I can. So people from this town, from the seven cities, know like you can make it from here. Like it's resources out here you can make it from. We bringing more resources out here, including the gym, that kids can start coming to and stuff like that. But I want the seven cities, even going to Richmond, from where Troy from, uh, going down Alexandria, Virginia. I want this to reach so much people that I want the seven the seven cities to be on the map, like a Atlanta, like a New York, like a Chicago. Yeah. Alexander, so. And there, Alexander, really, that, that's what it's about, right? Not only getting to a platform, he did that with the silver medal in the Olympics, being able to put it, but now coming back here and then giving back to, to the city. Absolutely. Uh, when Keisha, Keisha and I, we, we met for, for dinner, and he had a plan. He had a vision. So this announcement today was part of his long-term plan to bring uh, professional boxing back to scope uh, to Norfolk, Virginia, but more importantly, for Virginia. Uh, and so we're very proud of his uh, his, his initiative, but more importantly, uh, his commitment to the 757, and especially to his hometown, the city of Norfolk. He's very committed, very dedicated, and he's driven uh, to make a difference in the lives of others. Yeah, and just to follow up on that, with Keyshawn, you know, everybody can dream about success. The difference with Keyshawn is he's worked every day to be successful. He just didn't dream about it. He puts the work in every day, when he's training, when he's not training, he does the right thing all the time, and he's worked on it every day to be where he is today, headlining a main event in his hometown. And, you know, you guys, Kelvin and Keon, can speak to that as well, because you put in the work as a family since you were young. Uh, Keon, for you turning pro, getting ready to turn pro, what made you most feel prepared for this moment to say, okay, this is the time, this is the date, this is the card that I want to, you know, get rid of that headgear and, and change my glove size and turn pro? I just feel like it's the perfect time, you know. Uh, my brother home um, doing his first homecoming, and uh, I just feel like it'll be perfect uh, doing it with my brothers on the same card as them, and it's gonna be great. And Kelvin, you're undefeated. You know, you're continuing to move up the ranks as well in a very tough division. Uh, what should the fans that are in attendance who we want to come out and buy tickets for the Scope November eighth expect from you? Uh, you can expect fireworks. Uh, we fight at home, I'm real comfortable at home. So whoever coming in this territory getting knocked out. <laughs> Before I get a little more fight specific, I mean, Carl, you've seen so many uh, talented fighters come through the ranks at, at top rank. What is it that makes Keyshawn so special? You know, when, when we signed him a couple of years ago, uh, we spoke about this, achieving this goal of getting to the main event status and headlining in Norfolk. And he's done everything that was asked of him and then some. And when you compare him to Pernell Whitaker, you know, U.S. Olympic boxing medalist, going to fight for the world title in 15 fights or less. Worried about where he's from and always doing the right thing for 757. And what Bruce alluded to about having it, well, there's also that saying is, you know, who got next? Well, it was Bruce Smith, and then it was Michael Vick, and then it was Allen Iverson, and then it was Pernell Sweet Pete Whitaker, all Hall of Famers, and all achieving greatness on the field, in the court, or in the boxing ring. 
Well, guess who's got next? This guy's got next, Keyshawn Davis. And he's got next in, in his toughest test to date, I'd say, the 10 ramp rounder against Gustavo Lemos, Argentinian puncher, heavy hitter. This, you said it yourself. I'm taking on my toughest test to date in the main event, in my hometown. I mean, the Look stage the is market. set. The stage is set for you to take it, your game to the next level. Is that how, what you feel you're gonna do? I know you haven't shown all that you're capable of yet. Yes, um, I handpicked this opponent um, because I knew he could fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he, 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 he a good fighter, but I'm a, I'm a dangerous fighter. <laughs> like, when I'm in that ring, I'm very dangerous. Can't nobody really like, if you come with that, I'm gonna come with that too. You know what I'm saying? So just know, Gustavo Lemos, when he come here in North, he gonna try all that extra stuff. Y'all know how we rock out here, man. No, he is not going for none of that. I'm gonna tone it. I'm gonna tone it right on down. And we gonna have a fun night that night, November 8th on the Friday, man. And um, again, I'd like to thank everybody that came out, man. Um, just a quick little summary of how we got here, man. Uh, I can say our story really started when my big brother Kelvin left boxing. And um, you know, life things. And um, once he left boxing, um, the, the pressure kind of fell on me and Keon to just like just to keep it going more so. And um, that led us to Alexandria, Virginia, where we where me, Troy, and Keon really started getting really closer. Um, so 2018, all the way to what 2021, I was out there for three years in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, within that time, Kelvin left boxing, but he started getting himself back into it. And um, around the Olympics time, that's when we came to top rank 2021 to sign together um, top rank for the uh, ESPN. And um, man, ever since we signed with top rank on ESPN, man, we've been just getting better and better. Um, we trained alongside Bull Mac, Terrence Crawford team. Um, we really couldn't ask for nothing better, man. God blessed us with this with this dream, and we turned into a vision. And um, we just really just living it out, man. And, it's, it's, it's really a blessing. Troy here, like I said, we've been knowing each other for 16 years plus. Um, and my brothers, man, it couldn't, it can't really get no better than this. You know what I'm saying? Um, this, this is exactly what God wanted. The only way it could get better is if the three of you go in there, do your thing on November 8th, and walk out victorious. Oh, no, <laughs> That, that's right, that's right. Um, I'd like to thank you all so much for being here and for your time. Troy, happy birthday. Keyshawn, before I let you go, uh, you're a new daddy, you're a new father, and I'd like to say congratulations on behalf of your ESPN and Top Rank family. Uh, your son born September 1st. Uh, time to take it up a notch. Now you have a, a motivation coming from a parent and myself like you've never had to, before to achieve greatness. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Troy, Keon, Kelvin. We will see you guys back here for Fight Week. Mayor Alexander, I'm sure we will see you again when we're back in here early November. I appreciate your time today. Thank you, man. Thank you so very much. We're gonna go. We're gonna pose everybody for some pictures for Carl Moretti, our entire top rank team ESPN. I'm Christina Poncher. Thank you for joining us. Ticket information on sale soon. It's going down November 8th from the Scope Arena live on ESPN Plus. We'll see you in early November. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching.